guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So I was about to make breakfast today, but I seriously ran out of ideas. So I was thinking, why don't we ask ChatGPT and let them decide what we eat for the day? That would be fun. Let's do that. Okay, let's see what it says. What should I eat for breakfast? Oh, okay, they give me five options. Okay, what about lunch? Oh, they also give me five options. Like, I can definitely split it into five days. Okay, what should I eat for dinner? Okay, it seems like my friend planned a five-day meals for me. So let's split it into five days and let's get some breakfast cooking. some fresh basil and a touch of sesame on top. Let's eat. Mm. I mean, you can never go wrong with this. It would taste even better if I added some cheese, but this is the recipe. You gotta respect the AI. So here we have a grilled chicken salad. I use chicken breast, baby lettuce, and a drizzle of vinegar and truffle oil. My favorite. I am starving. Okay. I don't usually have plain salad for lunch because oh my truck. Okay, let's try some chicken. I think it would be better if I marinated a little bit longer, but it is good now. Here we have snapper fish with sweet and sour Brussels sprouts. Of course, I have to add in some rice. Good morning guys, today is a froggy and groomy day out so we do need some color to spice it up so let's dig in I put some matcha powder on top just to you know, try to skip coffee these days mm. Wow, it's so sour mm. So on today's menu, we have the veggie wrap. I used the whole green tortilla with spinach, uh, tomato, and also chicken. Okay, so let's have the first bite. How can you ever go wrong with this? Like, you just put in all kinds of ingredients that you like and wrap it together, it still tastes freaking good. Mm.
quick and easy stir fry. Perfect. Good morning guys! Today we are having some simple oatmeal with soy milk and berries for breakfast. So let's give it a bite. I mean, it definitely got that smooth, milky, creamy texture, but I'm not a big fan of oats. I'll probably do it when I'm in a rush, because it's super easy to assemble, but again, I'm not a big fan of oats. So for today's lunch, I've made a tomato lentil soup. To be honest, I never cooked lentil soup before. I don't even think I had lentils before. Okay, let's give it a bite. It's very rare for me to cook any Western soup. Not bad, but I preferred my Chinese one. I think it's very good to drink while you're sick because it's got that sour, got that savory. It's a very good combination. Look at that sunlight. Try. I'm pretty sure I'll be stuffed after one or two bites. Wow. Okay, how do I start? It is good, but I'm not sure I will make it again. morning guys today we are having yogurt smoothie as breakfast to be honest it doesn't really look appetizing but uh, I'm sure it might be good let's try it's so sour I think it's probably I mixed yogurt with lots of berries and those berries are like not ripe yet but I'm sure this is very nutritious so let's chop this it is actually not bad if I would do this again I would definitely add in some chia seed or flax seed just to give some more vitamins and more fibers take it away take it away feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. So, for today's lunch, I've made a quinoa ball with shrimp. Instead of grilled shrimp, I boiled it and also stir fried the rest of the veggie that I found in the fridge. Okay, let's dig in. I am starving. The sesame oil smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Why don't I make this often? The sesame oil is a game changer. Oh my gosh. It is really good. Like really, really good. Or maybe I'm just hungry. Or maybe it's just I like bibimbap and this is similar to the bibimbap. This is a relatively nutritious lunch. You got prawn as your protein source, all the vegetables, and quinoa as a quality carbohydrate. Nothing bad about it. Seriously, nothing to judge. Mm. Vejo no mar uma menina. 
I never had zucchini noodles. It looks weird, but I'm sure it tastes good. I'm surprised. morning so this is our last chat GPT breakfast I was intended to do a rose shape but apparently I failed I think you will need the whole avocado to do that but I can't eat the whole one so mm. not bad So I made a simple chicken avocado sandwich with some berries on the side. Let's dig in. Hmm. This is simple, quick, and freaking delicious. Cheers. I'm definitely trying to reduce the amount of coffee that I drink. Well, I wouldn't say matcha is better than coffee because they both have their own benefit. But I do found that I am more awake for a longer period of time and it is antioxidant. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch. I'll see you guys at dinner. but I need my rice at the dinner table like it just makes sense with rice I mean this soup is indeed very nutritious you got natural carbohydrate natural fibers lots of lots of greens I can't believe it's my first time making it. It's really, really good. Mmm. Definitely will make it again. If I rate this whole experience, I would rate it 8 out of 10. I mean, all of the recipes are relatively reasonable and they are indeed nutritious. They did consider including a good amount of protein, natural carbohydrate, good quality oil and fiber. Well, I would definitely make some of the recipes again, but there are some that I like to make some adjustments. For example, like the soup at the end or that big sweet potato. If I would do it again, I would definitely put in some chicken or some chickpea just to top up some protein. Or that yogurt, if I would do it again, I'll probably add in some granola just to get some more fibers, carbohydrates, so that it keeps me full throughout the day. Now, there is some debate on whether ChatGPT is going to take over our world, and I know that some university in Hong Kong, they banned student to use ChatGPT. Well, I mean, it all depends on how you perceive things. I don't think it's going to take over our place. I think it's a very great tool to assist us, to streamline my work. It is here to help us rather to control us. And it is a robot. It doesn't have any emotions. I mean, it can't taste or feel or describe how great and how delicious that bowl of soup was. But we as a human being, we can. Don't forget, we invented AI. We have the dominant power. Just be open-minded. I mean, if you reject the whole AI concept into your life, one day you're gonna feel left out because the whole world is changing. If you don't adapt to change gradually, you will be abandoned by the society. So what's your thought on ChatGPT? Leave in a comment below. I would love to see your thoughts. I would love to discuss with you. Well, that wraps up my vlog here. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!